Alternator Man here. I want to show you how to set up one of these uh, extreme duty. Now this is a triple bridge rectifier alternator. Uh, there's a heavy duty single bridge rectifier inside of this alternator. And then we have two bridge rectifiers in this remote box. So we have three bridge rectifiers all together. Give you a total of 18 diodes for the power to transfer through. Now electricity, when alternators make electricity, electricity travels or wants to travel at 186,000 miles per second. Electricity wants to run at the speed of light. And when I say wants to run, uh, there's all kinds of factors. The reason electricity cannot travel at the speed of light is because of all kinds of factors the wire that's running through the duct well, you heard about superconductors superconductors try to speed up try to get electricity to run as close to that speed of light as possible copper in itself has a uh, uh, a, a coefficient range of around 0.6 which means it can only go 0.6 times the speed of light so just over half the speed of light so electricity wants to travel really, really fast. And what we've done with this, if you've got trouble with your uh, alternator burning up bridge rectifiers, we've tripled the diodes. When I say electricity wants to travel the speed of light, think about it as, a let's say, a room full of people. If you've got 10,000 people trying to get out through one door within a very short period of time, you're going to run into trouble. So by going from six diodes in this alternator, six active diodes for the three phases in this alternator, going up to 18 diodes is going to open that room up. It's going to add more doors to it and uh, that'll get the power out faster. But uh, you've got to hook these alternators up in a certain way and I'm kind of going to go over these details about it. When you get this alternator, what you want to do is you're going to want to clip, clip the ties that hold the coil of wire in the back. And this is generic instructions that will pretty much apply to all the, the dual and triple bridge rectifiers. We have a dual rectifier version of it with one rectifier in here and one rectifier in here. And when you get this, you'll notice we have these three wires coming out of the alternator. What we're actually doing is tapping into the AC lines right where they go into the bridge rectifier that's inside of this alternator. And to do this, so what you have to do is you want to hook up these two rectifiers in parallel. You have to parallel them for them to work together. So these three lines here are going to connect into the three lines on the quick to fire box and before you do it the kit comes with uh, heat shrink tubing make sure you put your heat shrink tubing over the line before you strip and crimp it now it does not matter these are three AC lines alternating current lines and this only creates AC or alternate current when the alternator is running when the alternator is not spinning there's no AC current coming out of this so what you do is you connect these three lines in here. It does not matter which orientation you put these lines in. This line can go here or here. It doesn't matter as long as you just get one per connection. So once you get those connected in and heat shrinked all down real good, you have to connect this alternator up. And I just stuck a battery here so you can get a little visual. I'm going to use these small jumpers to show. So what you have to do is once you get this set up to parallel them, you run a jumper from the positive battery post on your battery. Uh, on a Ford diesel, they'll run uh, two batteries. It does not matter which battery you hook to. Uh, but you, what you want to do is you want to hook up your old battery wire to this battery post in the back of the alternator. you got to make sure you hook that up. I find that uh, some people want to set these up without that battery wire, but then the alternator does not want to regulate well. So be sure to hook up your old battery wire to the back of the alternator like normal. And then piggyback additional wires. You run a positive wire from the battery to the positive post on the quick to fire. The negative post on the battery, you run it, want to run it to the negative post on the quick to fire. And then from there, you're going to run that negative from the quick to fire then to the. I got a, a nice little bolt here to. And here's a grounding spot on the back of the alternator. You run that bolt in there and then put a terminal to the ground. Then the positive, you do the same thing. You run a jumper. Now, you want to, these are just representative of what we're doing. You want to run a really large wire from the battery post on the back of the alternator 
to the positive post on the quickifier then of course it goes up to the battery so you've got positive here positive here going to the positive on the battery you have negative here running over to the quickifier then negative up to the battery and then uh, this kit also comes with a, a split loom tubing so once you get these wires all attached into the back of the into the quickifier and the heat shrink tubing all shrunk down over the connections then you uh, use this split tubing to, to put over these wires to put them all together there's some additional wire ties to tighten it all up and make it all neat this is the configuration for hooking up one of these dual rectifier alternators if you've got a situation where you you're burning up rectifiers and you don't have a solution this is a solution this alternator can also come in this mounting style here uh, there's other Ford mounting styles this one just happens to be set up for the uh, Ford diesel it's got the three mounting bolts with the eight groove pulley uh, this mounting style for the 5.4 motors is going to have a six groove pulley but it doesn't matter they all end up being the same way they all end up being the same hookup so just remember that you're going to have the three black wires here going into the quick fire does not matter the orientation once you do it once you get it set up hook up your old battery wire in the back of the alternator like normal then piggyback large wires from the back of the alternator to the quick fire then up to the battery same thing on the ground run a ground from the back of the alternator to the negative post on the quick fire then up to the negative post on the battery and you'll be all set it's that simple